It's like, like a thief. Can't remember. A thief in the night. Yeah. I was just about to bite the box. That would have looked very nicely. I could have cleared my shelves for this, but I didn't. So here we are. Hey, hello team. My name is Monique. Welcome back to the cauldron and and a little great unboxing. Because why else would I be here? know this book which is my channel and uh, i know that i am a menace and i have disappeared somewhat but we still have lumicrate so there's that and uh, hopefully you're still enjoying my occasional content at one point i will return maybe when my house is finally fucking here anywho Illumicrate unboxing is the April box and if you don't know or if you are new to my channel or new to unboxings Illumicrate is a UK based subscription box that sends out a new hardcover release every month is then tied together with a theme and five to six fandom inspired items that are like connected to the theme somehow the books are always uh slightly special editions so they will have either sprayed or printed edges a new cover sometimes they are signed and i'm very excited about this box usually they are fantasy or sci-fi or sort of magical realism i believe this one is more heist contemporary is it is that is that a thing I feel like it should be a thing. I don't read a lot of contemporary, but I've heard very good things about this one. I'm pretty sure I've guessed the book. So let's just get straight into it. Where are my scissors? I don't know. Also, I finally got a tiny toothless. Look at him. He's so cute. I love him so much. Anyway, yeah. Um, so. <laughs> also, honestly, team, what do we think of the new box? Like, it's cute, but, but do we like it as much as the old box? Anyway, those are my thoughts. As it says here, the theme for April was nothing but thieves. This is the spoiler card that tells you all of the items. If you'd like to check them out, I will leave this here. Um, and otherwise, I will, as per usual, leave all of the names of the artists down below, usually with Instagram handles if they have those. And then you can... And then you can check them out at your own pace. But let's just... a go. I can see some sort of bookmarks. Ooh. I am going to go out on a limb here. Ooh, these are pretty. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that these might be from... What's that thing called? The latest one is Silvered Serpents. What's it? What's it called? Gilded Wolves. Okay, Gilded Wolves, a bookmark set. Obviously, these are illustrated by the wonderful, very talented uh, Gabriella Budeso. So yeah, so I believe these are the main characters. I'm pretty sure... Is his name Elias? No, now I'm thinking of Ember in the Ashes. I don't know who these people are, but they look very cute. And I really want to read the book. I know it's a heist setting in sort of like Vienna, Rome. Is it fantasy? Very pretty. Look at her. She has a very intense stare and I like that in the woman. But okay. This is going to be exceptionally like chaotic. So just so you all are aware, but at least my makeup is real cute. Even if my hair is not. What are you? You are very cute. Ooh, okay. Um, so this is a paper craft kit designed by Rosie Fawns. We love Rosie. This looks um like it might be looks like someone I know is it could it be could be City of Brass inspired it looks City of Brass inspired oh it's dire and then Nari and oh okay so yeah so so you can be a little crafty crafty person this is stunning is it was City of Brass look it's Nari it's my little child and Dara the stupid idiot so oh that's this is wonderful oh this is so cute I'm pretty sure this is a book pot so Illumicrate has four the last year more than a year we're in a new year now lumicrate has for the last little while been making these ceramic pots and i currently have five i think there are six in existence and then there's like a big one as well i should have really found my scissors for this open open Ooh, it's yellow okay so this says art history painting sculptures architecture a glimpse into a glimpse a glimpse a glimpse into the imaginations of our greatest artists look at this cute ass yellow so yeah i put pen in these and bookmarks so i love i love a container that's slightly bookish you know that just i, uh, I like things this is a print album 
It looks really cute. I'm assuming it is inspired by Addy LaRue because it says stories are a way to preserve oneself, to be remembered and to forget. And this design looks super cute. I am not crazy about art print books because I will not be putting them in here. This, however, is very much cuter than I thought it was. Look at that shiny, shiny. I might keep this and put something else in there. I don't know what it would be, but this is very pretty. Ooh, why is that reminding me of Lord of the Rings? Oh, it's the ring. Oh, that made sense. Okay, so I am, I am incredibly thick anyway. But yeah, this is very, very pretty. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it or if I'll, if I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> Looking very fancy. So this is Portrait of a Thief by Grace D. Lee. Um, and yeah, I believe that it's told by a group of like senior high schoolers or college students who are stealing something. So I will just read something to you so that you can can feel this is a cute this is a cute cover. History is told by the conquerors across the Western world. Museum displays the spoils of war, of conquest, of colonialism. Priceless pieces of art looted from other countries kept even now. Will Chen plans to steal them back. A senior at Harvard. Okay, so we're, Har we're at Harvard. Will fits comfortably in his carefully curated roles. A perfect student, an art history major, major, an artist, a perfect son, the American dream. But when a shadowy corporation reaches out to him with an impossible and illegal job offer, Will finds himself as something completely else. The leader of a heist to steal back five priceless Chinese sculptures looted from Beijing centuries ago. His crew is every heist archetype one can imagine, or at least the closest he can get. Each has their own complicated relationship with China and the identity they've cultivated as Chinese American. But when Will asks, none of them can turn him down. If they succeed, they earn $50 million and a chance to make history. If they fail, it's not just the loss of everything they've dreamed for themselves, but yet another thwarted attempt to take back what colonialism has stolen. So we have some beautiful yellow edges here. I believe that we we are signed. We look underneath. Ooh, we got snazzy tigers. This is ooh, we got art underneath. More art, extra art. Ooh, I believe these are the heist babies. So we are excited. This is very pretty. I'm here for this. I love a good amount of foiling. So that is wonderful. Woo. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure when I'll actually get around to reading this because I have been hauling like an intense person for a little while, but I am very excited about trying something slightly out of my regular genre, which we all know is deeply in the magical aspect, but I, I love a little bit of heist. I haven't read a lot of heist books. I shouldn't say I love a little bit of heist. Anyway, this was wonderful. I absolutely love the paper craft and our little like book ceramic pot. Wonderful. Illumicrate as always. So yeah, if you are interested in Illumicrate, I believe that they are still having new subscribers on waitlist, but you can sign up for that. Please check out the link down below. And then I hope that you have a great day. And I am sorry for the absolute mess that this video was, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. So remember that I'm proud of you. I'll see you soon or at one point or another. Bye.